So my name is James Robert Faulkner and I am a milliner. My business is called JRF Rogue Milliner. I'm supposedly called the Rogue because I have an unusual approach to hat making because all my hats are made from reclaimed or recycled materials including roadkill, byproducts of the meat industry and byproducts of the clothing industry as well. When people say to you, I say to them, oh, I've made hats out of roadkill, they instantly go, ooh, and it's the idea that they're going to have to be, you know, squashed and whatever and have tyre marks going through it. And the thing is, it's not, for me, making something macabre or grotesque. It's actually, for me, I want to make something beautiful with what remains of this animal. Um, and nothing is killed for vanity for me. The, these animals are, unfortunately, mistakes on the side of the road or you know, they're byproducts of the meat industry and their, their feathers would normally just be thrown away or just left to rot. Originality is incredibly important um, because we're all desperately unique and we're all individuals and I think to be original it is in, it's incredibly important. We should have that cultivated within us. We should be able to express ourselves in any way which way we want. I was working for a milliner and um, a friend of mine was going to a wedding and, and she wanted me to help her choose a hat. So four weekends in a row, I trolled around the shops and everything she liked she couldn't afford and everything she could afford she didn't like. So I just said, no, I'll make you a hat. And not having any money for materials, not having any money for anything. Um, I got quite scared I, and I just knew she was wearing black and white and one of my friends, as a joke, said oh she's wearing black and white, well you see that roadkill magpie there, you should use that and I said alright, give us a carrier bag, scooped it up, took it home, cleaned it up and turned it into a hat and not thinking I was ever going to make another hat again, you know, I rose to the challenge um, so she, she loved it but also my then flatmate loved it as well and also her friends loved it and then little by little it was kind of like oh could you make me a hat for this wedding could you make me a hat for this wedding could you make me a hat for this wedding and before i knew it i'd grown a collection of hats it's very important for me to be making something for an individual then i can try and imagine what it's going to be like what they're going to be seeing you know and what they want to express about themselves you know i embrace those quirky little bits a milliner called Stephen Jones actually said that if a outfit is a sentence, then the hat should be the punctuation. And my extension on that is then I always try to make a couple of exclamation marks or even a few question marks in people's heads. <laughs>